Good morning. I am getting ready for a very special occasion. I'm just throwing on the um, Surat Dew Drop Concealer in three. I am gonna have a little like video chat with Luna of Lucifer Vir Onestis, the brains, the creative brains and businesswoman behind all of this jewelry that I always wear. So I met her in person for the first time when I was in Milan this past summer. And it was, it was just, it was so wonderful. I wish I wasn't so tired from traveling, but it was so wonderful meeting her and hanging out and, you know, getting um, a look around her tour. I vlogged it all, so you guys probably saw that. Um, but we decided then that we just, we needed to keep in touch. You know, it's, it's difficult, not just with the distance, but I think more so with the time difference. I think we're like eight hours apart or something like that. Anyway, we decided that uh, we needed to make the effort. And so we, you know, just wanted to make kind of like a, a regular habit of chatting with each other, catching up, just staying in touch, basically. And I thought, well, we thought together, maybe it would be neat if we just like recorded these little chats that we have, um, or at least the portions where we're kind of talking about her work and things that I think maybe you guys would be interested in. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I always have like questions for her. <laughs> so I'm gonna be asking her some questions. And of course, um, you know, like I said, we wanna do this kind of on a regular basis. So if there's questions for her that you are interested in asking, please put them down in the comment section. We'll do it the next time uh, we chat. Um, but that's what I'm getting ready for. I just want you to throw on some makeup so I didn't, I didn't scare her. <laughs> I went to Pilates this morning and it was tricky because yesterday I did arms and tomorrow I'm doing legs with my trainer. So she was like, what should we do? I was like, I don't know. It's all in pain or gonna be in pain. So I was like, so just whatever, all over. So we just did like a full body. I think she focused a lot on my abs because I'm not really doing a lot of like, um, you know, like targeted ab work. He makes me do a lot of high planks in between my sets, which is torture, but um, that's very good for your abs. Anyway, that's what I did this morning. Uh, fed and walked butters, and now I'm just trying to get ready. And then later today, I definitely want to go to Trader Joe's. I think I talked about why I want to go to Trader Joe's and why I haven't gone to Trader Joe's up until now. Um, but anyway, I wanted to visit the one near me um, and get some spice mixes and check out the produce and stuff. I'm, you know, low on certain things. Uh, so I wanted to check them out today. So that's what we'll be doing later. All right, I am gonna put on basically what I put on yesterday because all of the makeup is still just sitting out here. So I'm just gonna go with it. I am just gonna go with it. And this is the Persona Cosmetics Guava, Dream Stick and Guava. And I think I have on almost every single piece of Lucifer jewelry that I own. I have all six rings. I have the bracelet, this chain bracelet, which I love. I love stacking it this way with these two other pieces. Um, I have my hoops. Um, the only, yeah, the only piece of jewelry I don't have of hers actually on my person are my um, like Baroque pearl like drop earrings. Couldn't fit it all in, so. <laughs> but I thought it would be appropriate today to put on as much of her jewelry as possible since we'll be chatting with her. Let's see, let's do some brows. I'm doing quick makeup because I'm definitely running late and I really don't wanna be late, especially with her because it's so late in Italy. And I know this is definitely cutting into her uh, like family dinner time, which I don't wanna do. So what gloss should I put on? I'm gonna try the Dip or up? Dip. Uh, the Say Glossy Bounce in Dip. So I've tried, I think, Push, this deep brown, which I really love, and then this one, which is like more of a peachy, this bounce. They're all great. They all feel really, really great. And they're so lightly tinted. Um, I don't think, unless you were to do like a side-by-side -side with me, I'm not even sure you'd be able to tell the difference between all, <laughs> all these glosses. But they do feel wonderful. I don't even think I'm gonna put on 
any eyes today. I think I'm just gonna curl my lashes and throw on some mascara. Uh, let's see, I now have a bunch of mascaras open, which I don't like. I don't like, I like focusing on one mascara and like finishing it. But since I have the option, I'm gonna use my Surratt Noir Lash Tint. All right, that's it. That's all we have time for. Let's, um, let's give Luna a call. Hi, Luna, how are you? Uh, hi, Michelle, I'm good, how are you? I'm very excited. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. me too. It's so good to see you. I think this is the first time I'm seeing you since meeting you in Milan, right? It's been a, a long summer. Yes, a long summer, two months, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Sicily, yes, for one oh. month and something, so yeah. What a dream. How was Sicily? Was it just beautiful and relaxing? Yes, just beautiful, relaxing, yeah. and uh, yeah. All the, yeah. I'll have to come visit you there. Yes, for sure, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. Um, so I did want to ask you, because a lot of people ask this or you know comment on this and it's just it's such a the name of your company is so interesting and i think a lot of people have some misconceptions about it i think some people have some preconceived notions about it so i wanted to ask you where did the name lucifer veer onestis where did that come from um yes um, he's a it's a magical history i mean it's something uh, a little bit tricky um, I, I am an architect, uh, and uh, during my search for uh, my thesis uh, degree, uh, I was uh, uh, in the final part, I was in an archive in Milan, looking for um, uh, some informations, historical informations, and um, at a certain point, jumped out uh, this, uh, this name uh, in the middle of uh, the cards. So I was, uh, I became, I became very curious, uh, and uh, this name was Lucifer Vir Honestus, uh, that is uh, the uh, Latin name, and means Lucifer, honest man. So I was curious, and I start to read what was on the card, and um, there is, uh, there are, there were uh, some information, very little informations, uh, he, and he was uh, the first. Uh, recorded the goldsmith in the uh, medieval uh, books so in um oh, corporations wow. book so and it was so interesting these things and i don't know why i was so attracted but by this information at the time uh, the only thing that i have uh, in i didn't mind was uh, to become an architect and then start to be an architect so but uh, i i know the name i <laughs> So when I started to make this work, um, I discovered to have this capaci capacity to sculpt the rocks and make jewelry and blah, blah, blah. So at a certain point, I need to find the name. Uh, and uh, the name was Lucifer Vironestus. For me, it was that name. I don't know. I, maybe I had in my mind was a sort of message. I don't know, something magical. I, I like to to think uh, in this way, because uh, with this name, uh, I had uh, a very, very um, quick uh, uh, career in this in this world. Uh, so maybe he has helped me. I don't know. So I, I love to, to think uh, to think this. So yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. There is nothing bad beside this name, or nothing. Uh, yeah but only a beautiful history very beautiful and magical history so yeah that's amazing that's yeah. amazing so, um just out of curiosity because i don't think i asked you this when we met when you started playing around with creating jewelry and you know your molding and things like that like how long did it take for you you know once you started to actually kind of create a collection and start selling it um, was it a long time or did it just kind of explode for you? Mm, yes, it's a kind of explode because uh, uh, I, at the beginning I, I, create, I created only the rings in uh, big, very, very big rings. Uh, it was 2000 
And uh, then I decided to show that, uh, those pieces uh, to uh, a, an editor of Elle here in Milan. And uh, she fell in love of them. She published them and Barnes arrived. So everything was so fast. After some months, uh, I was on Madison Avenue. So, um, and uh, I found uh, during uh, this, uh, this history, uh, very beautiful people, very uh, people that has enriched me a lot in my work, uh, in my way of, uh, in my life. I mean, uh, yes. So yeah. it was very, very fast. I have, uh, I, I am self-teached. So I um, has uh, little by little, but very quickly. I have learned about uh, uh, jewelry, about, uh, not jewelry, I mean uh, the procedure to make jewelry. Uh, I, I am not a, a goldsmith. I am a... Um, a, a designer, but I don't. I, I don't design anything because I sculpt directly on the wax. So this is my uh, my work. Then we cast uh, and then we finish the piece in gold. So yeah. this is uh, <clears throat> these are the step. Uh, yeah. So I have um, learned about uh, stones. Uh, I have learned about uh, a lot of things. So, but very quickly, I have to say, <laughs> very quickly. Yes, yeah. I was so involved. So everything was uh, went in the in the in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of your beautiful pieces, do you have? Do you have any like new ones that maybe you just finished? We'd love to see. <laughs> ah, yes. I, uh, I have uh, some pieces just finished with me. Uh, they are, um, I call them microbo because uh, they have uh, a very thin uh, um, mm. setting. Uh -huh. Very thin. For me, it's thin. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you see, you see this, but the stone is big. This is an amethyst, oh, and you beautiful. can and and you can stock suck them. This is a topaz, for example. I I don't know if you can you can see. Yeah, yeah. and then there is the yellow one. Yeah, and oh. yeah, so gorgeous. Um, I, I love to stack jewelry. I love to wear uh, like uh, 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 rings uh, as a dress because uh, I don't know, it's a sort of, uh, of dress that I think that uh, the hands can have. So mm -hmm. um, since the beginning, I create a collection that are stackables. So for yeah. example, yes. Also for barnes, I have made a lot of this. This is a new style for me. It's very simple, but mm -hmm. enhance the, the stones because yeah. uh, you can see very well the stone and can enjoy everything come from those stones. So the light, the power, the everything of uh, the beauty comes out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yes. They are in gold. I, I love I I love to work with the rose gold but also in yellow and white. The rose gold is my rose. I mean, mm -hmm. I have a league, a personal league, and uh, it's a very delicate uh, rose. You, you know the color. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, between the yellow and the red. So it's uh, a yellow a little bit warmer. I, because yeah. I think that uh, enhances uh, the, the color of stones. Yes, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, your rose gold is a very, it's a very subtle. Mm rose and i know some people when you know when people are checking out my jewelry they always ask they're like is that yellow or rose gold and I yes to yes i know yeah it's a yes it's a, a balance yeah. between the two color yeah yeah yeah, it's yeah. perfect perfect yeah. <laughs> so um i remember you telling me when i visited you in your studio that when you see a stone you almost immediately can envision what you want to do with it, the setting and whether it's going to be a ring or um, a pair of earrings or a pendant or something. Was it, was it the case with this amethyst? Yes. Yes. Uh, um, the, when, I, when I see one stone or more stone, I see immediately the, I can imagine the setting. I can see the, 
uh, and I follow when with the walks. I follow what I feel. Uh, I the I don't know. It, it's very intimate the pro, the procedure. So it's not something that I have in mind. Uh, uh, something uh, um, very specific. I just follow mm -hmm. what I feel, the shape, the stone, and uh, yes, this is uh, the procedure. It's difficult to explain for me because yeah. it's, uh, there is nothing. Uh, um ratio in this uh, is uh, is really something that come uh, comes out uh, so for me is uh, um is this the process yeah. and uh, the pieces are uh, organic because uh, maybe i i love to see that uh, i don't um go uh, on the stones but uh, i follow the stone yeah. i respect the material so I don't want that my imprinting is uh, too much on the stones, but uh, just uh, help to pop up. Yeah, so, to yeah. enhance them. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, it so, shows. It shows. All of your work <laughs> is so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, I think I think I should let you get on with your evening. I know it's late over there. What time is it over in Milan? Um, it's, uh, no, it's not too late. It is uh, about 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, it's like dinner time. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, we're going to do this regularly. You know, we want to stay in mm -hmm. touch. And I think, you know, doing like a FaceTime is always the best. Um, mm -hmm. so we'll do this again. We'll do this more often. I hope you guys enjoy this. But yeah, I think we're going to sign off now. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Ciao. Hi, I'm just popping in here. I'm actually sitting here editing this vlog and I had filmed some footage um, after my chat with Luna, but for some reason I don't, I couldn't find, maybe I just didn't hit the record button. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Anyway, so I just wanted to mention that Luna and I will be doing that more regularly. We're hoping to do it like once a month, but it was so, so good to see her, even if it was just over a video camera and a monitor, but it was so great to see her. And of course, I will leave her information down below, uh, down below in my description box, her website, her Instagram, if you wanna follow her, she posts, um, usually when she like finishes a piece, she'll post a picture of it. Um, and sometimes even mention like what country it's going to if it was a piece that was requested by a customer. So I'm assuming you guys know who Luna, that was Luna Scamuzzi. She is the, um, the brains behind Lucifer Veer Onestis. And I, you may not know, especially if you're new to my channel, you may not know my history with this uh, particular jewelry line, but my wedding ring, this Quersus is what she calls it, wedding ring, is um, the ring that I picked out. I found it at Barney's on Madison Avenue, which uh, Luna was referring to. And this was my introduction to Luna and her work. And, uh, you know, I, we didn't get to know one another until I started doing YouTube and, you know, I would wear this ring. And so many people, so many of you guys would ask me, where's that ring from? Where did you, is that a blah, blah, blah ring? Is that a blah, blah, blah ring? I'm like, nope. And I would um, introduce you guys to Luna and her work. And, um, you know, she mentioned that so many people have come over from my channel. So, um, you know, we just feel very, very akin to one another. We feel we have this kind of connection. Yeah, we just feel very simpatico, if that makes sense. Very, very simpatico. Again, if you are a new viewer, uh, definitely check out my vlog that I did when I was in Milan because we do a studio tour of Luna's and there's so many gorgeous pieces in there. I walked away with these two rings that I wear stacked, both rose gold, one with black diamonds, one with white diamonds. I saw them basically in her display and I took them off and I put them on my finger and I was like, well, guess what's coming home with me? <laughs> she was like, are you sure? Do you want me to size them? I was like, nope, they fit, they fit perfectly. The black diamond one is just a wee bit bigger than the white diamond one, but the white diamond one, when it sits on top, it like keeps it down perfectly. I never have a problem. And I like that it's a little bit bigger because I'm wearing it on my left hand and my right 
hand, my fingers are a little bit bigger than my left. So if I do want to wear it on my right, I can do that. It's easy to kind of go back and forth. So yeah, they're just perfect, perfect. It was like, like much of Luna's work, I feel like it was made for me. Anyway, that is Luna, but let's get on with the rest of this vlog. So I just did a little Trader Joe's run and I got their organic plain non-fat yogurt. I got a bunch of blueberries. The price was definitely a little bit better. So these are organic blueberries and at my Smith's, my like local supermarket, they're $6.99 for organic blueberries this size, and at Trader Joe's it was $4.99, so not bad. And then I got a bag of organic sweet potatoes, and then I got four Japanese sweet potatoes, just for a little variety. And then I got some spices. I got a Green Goddess mix, it's a seasoning blend. I am using this over salad, not this, specifically because I just got this, but I mean, I'm using like dry seasonings or seasoning mixes over my salads instead of dressing. Um, I'll spritz it with like a little bit of oil, but then I'll like just sprinkle a whole bunch of, like if I don't have a mix, I'll sprinkle salt, pepper, onion powder, um, garlic powder, and maybe some basil or oregano or like a green of some sort, chives, something like that. Um, so I thought I would try this because it has, let's see, onion, salt, garlic, pepper, chives, like literally everything I do kind of like one by one a la carte. Um, green onion, spinach powder, lemon powder, um, blah, 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 dry parsley. So I thought I would try that. And then I got some ground fermented black garlic. I thought that could be good on some of the meats that I've been making. I thought I would try that. I do know this is really good. <laughs> Not that I've had this in a while, but this is really good over like ramen, like in the big soup when you sprinkle this on top. So good. So that is my little Trader Joe's haul. My Trader Joe's, I don't know, maybe I have to get used to it. I don't feel like there's that much in there. I think it's a Trader Joe's on the smaller side and there aren't that many in Vegas. I think the other one there's like maybe two or three other ones and they're all pretty far away from me. So this is the one I'm stuck with, but it's okay. It's okay. I was looking specifically for a seasoning mix that is like a dill pickle seasoning mix that my friend uses and she loves. And I was like, oh, let me pick that up. Cause I'm like, oh, that's gotta be, I love dill. Um, and the like, the idea of like a dill pickle flavor. I was like, I want to try that. They didn't have it at my Trader Joe's. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I have to make lunch because I'm already late. I'm already late now. <laughs> I have to make some lunch. I defrosted some chicken breast, my favorite. So you guys suggested like pouring a little bit of like chicken broth um, into the chicken breast when I reheat it to kind of keep it juicy because I think I was talking about how like when I eat chicken breast fresh, it's fine. But when I reheat it, it's like, like cardboard and so I've been doing that. I've been putting just a little bit of chicken broth at the bottom, bone broth, and it really does help a lot. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for that tip. It keeps it actually edible. So I'm very excited, but I think I'm going to make some chicken breast and have lunch.
Hello, I just got home from a training session to a very embarrassing purchase. Okay, I'm gonna share with you a purchase I'm very embarrassed about making. I did post it on my community tab. So it's probably not that much of a surprise. I just, I couldn't resist. I really feel like I have, I still have severe depression from Barney's going away. What did I get? So <laughs> Forever 21 and Barney's basically did a collaboration. Now, it's like, how do you collaborate with a brand that doesn't even exist anymore? Apparently you can license the Barney's brand and, and logo and stuff. And I think um, Saks has done that because they have some beauty products from Barney's, which mm, I was kind of tempted to try, but I was like, let me hold off. Yeah, I'm really, I'm embarrassed I did this, but I went ahead and I purchased just a few, a few things. Now I did not really like, from what I could tell, I didn't really like any of the actual like tailored pieces because they had some things that were like a, a blazer, skirt or whatever. And I was like, no, absolutely. I'm not buying that from Forever 21. I did, however, really appreciate that they had plus sizes. I thought that was really nice. Um, so I just got a couple of t-shirts and then apparently I got a button down. I forgot about that. So I ordered them all in extra large. I have no idea the sizing, but here's the black, oops, here's the black t-shirt. Oh yeah, that's good, nice, nice and big. And then here's the only way you can tell that it's a Barney's collab. This is like a rubber uh, patch, and then it has a Barney's New York logo on there. Guys, I couldn't, I just couldn't resist. I really do still, I really miss Barney's still. I'm still mourning them. And it's been how long? <laughs> Five, six, seven years? How long has it been? Um, so I got that black t-shirt and then I got it in this, I guess you could say kind of nude color. Let's see what this one looks like. So here it is in the nude color. I think that'll look okay on me. I think it's cool enough. The color like, like peach looks terrible on me. It makes my skin look really gray. It's very strange. But this I think is nude enough versus it being peach. Anyway, here's the Barney's tag. And admittedly, the t-shirt the actually feels okay. I'll have to wash it though. That's really the true test. And then here is the button front shirt. Yeah, this is very oversized. This. This may have to be exchanged. I don't know, maybe I'll try it on. Oh, it has a hidden placket. That's very nice. And then here's the rubber, the rubber label. Okay, well, that's what I did. I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself, but I just couldn't, I couldn't resist. So that's what I got from the Barney's Forever 21 collab. I can't even remember the last time I stepped foot into a Forever 21 boutique, and that would have been the one in Union Square on 14th Street in New York. It's gotta be more than 10 years ago. <laughs> anyway, I should shower. Like I said, I just uh, got home from training. I should shower. It looks like it's about to rain outside too. Butters is here with me, sweet girl. And yeah, okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, I just showered. I actually did the Sophia Richie, is that her name, Sophia or Sophie? Sophia, Sophia Richie um, bun tutorial. I'll link it down below if you're interested because it's like, her hair always looks so, so neat and I feel like I'm always struggling to get my hair like back perfectly. Long story short, she uses a whole bunch of products that I would never think to style my hair with. Like most of this is a hair mask. But I'm like, okay, since I'm just gonna have my hair back, why not? And I do have on the new Barney's t-shirt. So this is an extra large, it's, it's huge, but that's what I wanted because I will just be wearing this around the house. And there's the little patch. I like this color, I do. Um, yeah, I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> Tan colors can go very wrong sometimes, but I feel like this is nice. It has just enough like 
pink in there, but it's not too too pinky or too peachy. So I do I do like this, but for size reference, this is an extra large. Um, I also got a whole bunch of fun stuff in PR. I just filmed. I don't know if it's going to be a shorts because I think it may actually be too long. Maybe maybe a TikTok, but basically a vertical format of me unboxing all this stuff. But I got, let me actually clip this onto my shirt here. I got some really amazing stuff. First, I got this beautiful box from Guerlain. Isn't that so neat? The little bee there. And then inside were a bunch of the, I think it's a Bay Royale, I think is the line. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize, but this is the Youth Watery Oil. Uh, longtime favorite, and then these I've never tried. So this is the Honey Treatment Day Cream, and here is the Honey Treatment Night Cream. So excited to try those. Big thank you to Guerlain for sending those over. I also got from Lisa Eldridge the new Sealness Guide eye pencils. So I got all six. I think I think we'll just go ahead and try them after I show you what else I got. So here's what they look like. And they have color bands at the bottom here so you can see what shade it is. And then I got four out of the eight new Jones Road lip pencils. So, so exciting. Let me just show you the shades here on the card. So pretty, so Bobby Brown, right? Uh, so, so very excited for those. And from the Inky list, I got the Tripeptide Plumping Lip Balm, which I actually put on, and it does feel very nice. Uh, so big thank you to them. And then from True Botanicals, I got, what is this actually called? At Home Facialist Peel. Oh, I thought that was a description. At Home Facialist Peel. It is one step to glass skin. I'm not sure that I can use this because it has a four potent acid blend, powerful concentrated blend, of 27.2% AHA, BHA, PHA, and THX complex deliver professional grade exfoliation results, revealing skin that is so smooth, bright, and flawless. I will probably end up looking like a burn patient, so I'm gonna have to pass this along. If you do not have sensitive skin and you want glass skin, I would try this. I would try this. And if you have, please let us know down below in the comments section what you think of this. Anyway, thank you to True Botanicals for sending that along. And I got this most incredible package from a company I'd never heard of. It's called The Last Candle Co. This is what the vessel came in, and then this is what the candle came in. And these are like suede pouches, really, really cool. This is, oh my God, so incredibly heavy. But this is a stone vessel that you can put basically a candle into, a refill candle. So they sent along English Rose Garden as one refill, and I put that down gently, and Terrace Breeze as one of their refills. Oh, so lovely. But let me show you the little card that they sent because it'll give you a better idea as to like the options that you have for the actual vessel. Look at these, how cool, right? I think I want like this one or this one, but. Yeah, lastcandleco.com, lastcandleco on Instagram. Oof, yeah, this one looks like travertine, right? Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited for this. This has got to be like 15 pounds, or am I being, am I being like a wussy? <laughs> That's very heavy though, very, very heavy. And, oh, something I did not, unbox in my shorts because it was not beauty related, so I thought that was kind of weird. Um, but this is something from La Rude, La Rode, L-A-R-R-O-U-D-E. They actually reached out to me and they said they wanted to send me a pair of their shoes. I was like, hmm? Uh, absolutely, so they gave me some options and I'm very excited to see what came, so these are, the style name is, I should say, is called Blair. And they are flat, thank goodness, because then I'll wear it. So here is the name, La Rude. And yep, Blair, it's a mule. And I picked the shade Soft Patent Tan, and I just got in this, uh, the size eight and a half. 
Oh, oh my gosh, look how cute that is. A little cowboy boot charm. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, we have a couple of dust bags. We have a LaRue token that looks like a $20 bill. Oh my God, that's so funny. Uh, we have some stickers. My goodness. I have a little card here. Welcome to La, oh, there's an accent over the E. Maybe it's La Rue de, La Rue de. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, okay, let's take a look at the shoes. Ooh, these are cute. So they have like a little strap here. The toe is not exactly rounded. It's definitely not pointed, but it's not like squared off either, but it's kind of in between. And there were definitely a few options um, in terms of colors. I think there was definitely a black pattern and there was something else. I, de I was debating between the something else and this one. I think something else maybe was gold, but then this buckle here had crystals on it. And I was like, mm, I don't know if that's really my thing. So I decided to go for the nude. Oh, I like that. Is the mate very, very nice. Handmade in Brazil. Very cool. Okay, I'll have to try these out for you guys. I'm not really wearing the proper pants for these right now. Oh, thank you so much, LaRude. I just love a good flat. Can I tell you? I just love a flat that looks stylish, but is comfortable. Like, there's nothing better. Am I right? Nothing better. Okay, that is it for this particular haul. I'm gonna clean this stuff up, and then I really wanna try out the Lisa Eldridge pencils, at least one shade, and the Jones Road uh, lip pencils. Again, at least one shade. Good morning. Good morning. I really wanted to try some of that new makeup on for you yesterday, but I got caught up in quite a bit of work, which I am still, <laughs> I'm still trying to get through. Um, but I definitely want to try out those eyeliners from Lisa Eldridge and the lip pencils from Jones Road. I think that was the only makeup products I got, right? Yes, I think I got, the rest of it's like skincare. Um, but I just got this in the mail and I'm so excited. It's from Elios Lighting. And this is my favorite um, makeup mirror, basically. I use it in my filming room and I actually wanna order another one to keep, well, maybe two more actually. <laughs> one to keep in my bathroom upstairs um, and then another one um, just to kind of carry around with me because you know I'm kind of filming sometimes out in my office, sometimes upstairs in my room where I keep like all my handbags. So anyway, they have just come out with a brand new product, which is a rechargeable compact mirror. I'm very excited for this. A large five inch viewing area, dual one and then 10 times magnification, long lasting rechargeable battery, seamless light dimming, mimics daylight to see true color. I think that is awesome. So, oh, I probably have to charge it up, don't I? Let me do that. Ooh, it's so cool looking. It's like white, glossy, it's rounded. Oh, neat. The charging port is there. It looks like it takes a USB charger. Let me see if I open it. Let me see if there's any charge in here that we can play with. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Here is the 10 times magnification. Wow, so scary. Here's just the regular mirror. And then right up here, there is this button. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. Wow, the 10 times, oh, I gotta pluck my eyebrows. Wowza. It's time, it is time. But this is a really good light. This is perfect for traveling, absolutely. Now it says that it's dimmable. Let me see how you dim it. So if I turn it on, it seems like it's kind of like full blast. One moment, please. Let me look on their website. I had a coupon code for them. I don't know if it's still active. I'll have to check that out. If it is, I will put it down below in the description box. So, okay. So it retails for $39 on their site. Bright, dimmable light. Dimmable, diffuse lighting lasts up to 30 days. Okay. 
oh, here we go, under FAQs, how do I dim the light? Simply press and hold the power button to dim the light up or down. Okay, I thought I tried that, but maybe I wasn't patient enough. So I'm gonna turn it on. Then if I hold it down, oh yeah, it dims. And then if I hold it again, it dims back up. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. I kind of wish that when I just close the lid, it would automatically turn off the light, but it does not. So you have to remember to turn it off. Otherwise, I would imagine you're gonna just kill the battery that way. That is so cool. Well, thank you, Elios. I just love the packaging, it's so sleek. I'm gonna go ahead and charge this baby up. Yeah, this is really perfect for me for traveling. I have a bunch of travel mirrors. I have like a Riki Riki mirror, if you guys remember. I do love that. Um, and I have traveled actually with the big Elios mirror, which is quite heavy. The mirror itself is fine. The stand is very heavy um, to kind of keep it in place, which is great. It's just tough to travel with. Um, and I even have a small Riki mirror, but I like, I really like this because it stands and you can angle it, you know, either way. And I'm not one to bring like a giant mirror when I travel. I just, you know, I'm just not that extra, but um, I generally need a mirror. I'm Like when I went to New York, I realized I brought all this makeup. And I think the only mirror I had was the Surratt bronzer. And it's, you know, it's little, and I may do with it, but I was like, oh my God, I have to remember to bring a bigger mirror. This is perfect. Eee, love it, love it. Thank you, Elios, for sending that along. I love it. So what else is going on today? I am, the thing I'm working on is my next blog post and newsletter, and they just take, they just take a lot of time. They're very tedious, you know, to upload and pictures and links and stuff, but I am working on that. And I'm really trying to get a blog post up every week for you guys. And, um, you know, either they're one-offs, you know, one-off posts, or I like to maybe enhance or uh, supplement like a YouTube video. So by the time you see <laughs> this video, I'll have a new blog post and, uh, and the newsletter has gone out. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter if you're interested. But this particular blog post is meant to supplement my last luxury fashion haul video where I talk about the new Lueve squeeze bag. So this particular post is just about the squeeze bag. It seems like there's a lot of interest in it online and I'm going to link it and it seems like it has sold out quite a bit. Some of the, most of the colors, a lot of the sizes, well, there's only two sizes, small and medium. But anyway, I'm linking to wherever I can find it. And that's it. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I have to finish up this vlog. Um, this needs to go out and um, I dropped butters off at school this morning. I meant to work out this morning, but I had to hand in um, some sponsored content. So I did that this morning as well. So I'm thinking once I'm done or once I feel like I'm in a good place with this blog post, I'm going to take a break and go to the gym and just do upper body because I did legs with my trainer yesterday and <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'm going to be sore. I'm, I'm definitely not as sore as the first time I worked out with him, but I'm sore. I'm definitely sore. And in a different place, um, like much higher up, not quite my hip flexors, but like just below that. So like the tops of my quads, which is really interesting. I don't think those have been sore in a really long time. And I can't even figure out what it is that we did that made these sore. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I had a really interesting conversation with my trainer yesterday. I said, um, can I come see you on Monday? And he said, sure. So I'm gonna see him on Monday. And he was like, what about the rest of the week? And I was like, well, and he said, oh no. He's like, are you traveling? I said, no, but I have two girlfriends coming in from out of town to celebrate my birthday, turning 50. And he said, oh, <laughs> he just had this look uh, of like panic. He's like, oh, well, well, what does that mean? What is that? What is, what does that mean? Celebrating your 50th. And I was like, well, look, I was like, my two friends that are flying in, neither of them are like huge eaters or like junk food lovers. In fact, the exact opposite. And I was like, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. However, on my birthday, my friend that's coming is going to be making me a cake because that's what she does. She cooks and she bakes. She's excellent at it. And we're gonna go out for an Italian meal because that seems to be a cuisine where we can all find something. <laughs> 
He was like, oh God. He was like, okay, okay. He's like, well, why don't you come in and train that morning? He's like, if you're gonna have a cheat day, you absolutely have to train that day. <laughs> I was like, all right. And I was like, look, I'm not, I'm not going to like lose my mind. I'm really going to try and control my portions. I feel like that is for me so far, the best strategy. It's difficult, but the best strategy I've, I've come across while I've traveled and just going out to eat or whatever, you know, it's impossible to not do those things. And I wouldn't want to stop doing those things just because of the way I'm trying to eat. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna stop traveling. I'm not gonna stop going out to eat, but just eating less, just eating less. And that is definitely one of my biggest struggles as I've mentioned to you guys, uh, is portion control. And I'm really practicing that, really, really practicing that. And uh, so far it's been okay. It served me well when I was in New York. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna see how it goes. I'm just taking it, I was gonna say day by day. It's not even, I'm taking it meal by meal, just breaking it down. So, um, so far it's been, so far it's been good. So anyway, that is my day, but I need to um, stop yapping away and finish up this blog post, uh, work out, finish up this vlog, try out some of that makeup and uh, yeah, and that's it. I am still wearing that Barney's t-shirt. I didn't sleep in it. Okay, I did take it off and put my pajamas on last night, um, but I put it right back on today. I, I do really like this t-shirt. I'm so embarrassed to say. It's like a really nice weight. It's kind of on the thicker side. And I do like the color. Um, I still have that hair mask in my hair. I figure after I work out, I'll like shower. I'll be back in a bit to try on that new makeup. I am freshly showered and I actually just made some last minute plans to hang out with my friend. I'm gonna go over with, with my dinner, with my meal prepped dinner. Uh, but first I'm gonna pick up butters uh, and then go over there with Butters because this is my friend. I don't know if you guys remember um, a few months ago, her dog passed away, which really broke my heart. We went out to dinner that night and whatever. Anyway, if you guys don't remember, this is one of my dear friends here in Vegas. Anyway, this is one of my dear friends here in Vegas. So we're gonna get together tonight. I have not seen her in a very long time because she travels for work. Well, it was more, it was definitely more my traveling and it just got in the way. But anyway, I'm getting dressed and I thought I would wear these cute little guys tonight. So let me put these on and I can show you what they look like. I did put them on as soon as I hauled them. Of course, I put them on and I was like wearing them around the house. They are very comfortable. And if you have wide feet, I would recommend these. I'm not sure that I would recommend these for people with um, anything more narrow than like an average size foot though. But here they are, aren't they cute? Now, I did have to, which side? I think it was on my left foot, this one. I had to um, lengthen the buckle at the top. So I had to lengthen the buckle here so that my foot would go in more, otherwise my pinky toe kind of stuck out. But now that I did that, they fit fine. I'm not sure if I like it with this color shirt. I thought like the off-white, the cream colored shirt would go well with the nude, but now I feel like they clash a little bit. I don't know, my friend's not gonna care. Um, but here is the back view. So you can see that this size, hold on, let me just refresh myself. Yeah, so these are an eight and a half, and I usually am either um, a 38 and a half or 39. So I would say these are true to size. If you're in between sizes, I would go down, but they're super comfy. Super duper comfy. The strap doesn't bother my foot and I have a pretty high instep. Yeah, they're great. And they're really like flat, as you can see. It's not even like they have like one of those little block heels or whatever, no, these are really flat, which I like. Very, very comfortable. So I'm gonna wear these tonight and I am gonna go downstairs. We're gonna put on some makeup because I wanna try those new products for you. All right, let me just throw on some makeup first, very quickly. I do wanna use the Suku 20th anniversary eye and blush palette. Is that what it's called? Yes, eye and blush palette. I have it in the shade 102. Uh, they have another color version of this. I think it's just 101 and it's a little bit warmer than this one. So I decided to go with this one and I did actually use this already. I used this blush, which is gorgeous. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So let me just put on some light concealer. I don't, you know, I'm just hanging out with my friend um, after a long day, so I don't think I need to get too crazy here, but 
just something to kind of tidy things up a bit. So just throwing on my Surratt Dew Drop Concealer in three. All right, I think I look a little bit, a little bit better. Um, I'm going to throw on some of this blush from the palette. Just gonna use the BK Beauty, actually, no, let me use a different one, sorry. <laughs> No, let me not use that one. Let me use the BK Beauty 106 brush. And I'm gonna buff in this blush. So pretty that color, huh? Love it. There, that is the blush. Uh, not gonna do bronzer or highlight again. Just going to my friend's house. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel just to make my brows look a little bit fuller and then I wanted to use these Suku shadows but this matte shade looks a little bit deep this is a cream shadow and then these two are really really high shine let me do some swatches for you I just don't think <laughs> I just don't think this is exactly appropriate for this evening um, of just hanging out. So those are the three powder shadows. Really pretty. A lot of micro glitters in the top too. Very pretty. And then here's the cream shadow. And I thought, oh, is this maybe like a lip gloss or a lipstick? But I don't believe so. I think it's probably like a base product for the eyes because this is just called eye and blush palette. I think they would have said like face palette or something if it was for the lip. But those are the four eyeshadows, and yeah, it's just not, it's not the vibe I'm going for tonight. So I think I'm gonna go for Studio in the Merit Solo Shadows. I did a wear test of these for you guys. Was that yesterday's vlog? In yesterday's vlog. <laughs> in yesterday's vlog. And they lasted and lasted, but hold on, let me remove these first. I'm gonna use that same Bobbi Brown brush. This is the full coverage touch up. And I'm just gonna use this one shade all over. Oh no, did I not wash this? I didn't wash this brush. Well, that's a bad mistake. Okay, hold on, let me grab a different brush. Uh, I'm gonna use this Sonia G Jumbo Concealer Brush. It's a flat brush, but it's very chubby, so I, I think it'll be fine. So when it comes to these shadows, I got a couple of comments saying that they felt like the shadow was a little bit dry, it tugged a little bit. The truth of the matter is these shadows do set down. So they may feel emollient in the pot, but as soon as you start working them in, they do dry down, they do set down, they get very, very tacky. So I have a couple of tips. One, I would definitely use, do one eye at a time. I mean, usually do with eyes anyway, but I would do one eye at a time. And then um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like really rub it in. I think if you just graze over it, first of all, you won't be tugging your um, eyelids. And also it's easier to actually move the product that way more than really trying to get in there and using some elbow grease. So I would just swipe over it. And you can even see still after a minute or so that I've been talking, I'm still able to move this a little bit. But yeah, I would really resist like trying to get in there and blending it out. Um, I would just sort of graze over it and I would definitely use a denser brush. So like this one, this one, and I would stay away from a fluffy brush, like a blender brush. Sometimes I do use blender brushes with cream shadows, but those are for the softer ones. For these that need a little bit of you know, massaging, I like the uh, denser brushes. So just a couple of tips there, but I would really resist getting in there because that's not gonna help. It's not gonna help and it's just going to irritate your eyelids. All right, yay, let's try the new Lisa Eldridge Seamless Glide Eye Pencils. So when I swatched these earlier in the video, so I won't do it again, they were, they're really soft, like really, really soft, but they do set down so that they're budge proof. So there are two shades that caught my eye. Cinder Smoke, which is a really deep gray. It's just, it's like off black. And then of course, Renaissance Gold. This one really, really blew my skirt up. Look at that. Look at that one, it has a little bit of a metallic sheen there, very subtle. The other four, of course, are probably ones that I'm gonna end up using the most because they're basic, like black treacle is black. 
Then there's ground coffee, which is brown. There is night forest, which is green. And then let me show you burnt umber because this one is like a brown, but it has a red undertone. So it's really perfect if you're going for like a warm look. It's really great. Actually, let me just, so let me just swatch them. I'm gonna swatch ground coffee next to burnt umber. Am I saying that right? Yeah, burnt umber. So there's burnt umber, can you see the red? And then there's ground coffee, which is like just a very deep, rich brown. And then here is night forest, which is a green with just a hint of a metallic sheen. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, that one, did I put that on today? No, probably not. And then black treacle, which is um, just the inkiest, darkest black. But you guys cannot believe how soft these are, how smooth and soft these go on. All right, so let me put on, I can't resist. I'm gonna put on Renaissance Gold. I'm going to apply to my upper waterline and then, and then along my lash line. So easy to go on. Hold on, I'm gonna grab like a little buffer brush here and smudge that out. Gorgeous, wow. Okay, well if anyone could make an eyeliner to make me go wow, it would be Lisa Eldridge, that's for sure. I can't believe how easy it goes on and it's just, it's like, it doesn't smudge and I was able to work this out a bit so it wasn't completely set down either. Wow, okay, these are great. Let's see how I do on this eye. And I also don't know if this is helpful to anyone because I feel like I'm always the last one to learn about <laughs> tips and tricks. But when applying eyeliner, I find it easier personally. I find it easier instead of trying to draw straight on to actually pull the pencil this way. So it's kind of on its side. It's more like at an angle. And I just find it's just easier to place it where I want. Otherwise, I don't know why this makes it more difficult. I don't know if it's because I'm using um, like the thickness of the pencil tip here to actually apply it, but I just find that easier. Well, I'm not gonna put on any mascara because I wanna see how these, you know, how these eyeliners wear. And sometimes if I see a little bit of smudging, I'm like, was that the mascara or the eyeliner? I had some lip balm on, so I just remove that because I want to try the new Jones Road lip liners. So I did also swatch these for you. So I'm just going to go in with, uh, because I'm running out of time, I'm going to go in with Mauve. It's the coolest toned lip pencil. I would say compared to Natasha Denona, that's probably the last lip pencil I use. I use that a lot actually. Um, these are not quite as soft as Natasha Denona. They're not hard though. I don't feel like my lip is dragging. And I'm coloring in just a little bit, not my full lip, but just to kind of get a feel if um, they're dry or not. No, oh, they feel very nice. Okay, I'm just gonna pair this with this one or this, maybe this one. This is Dip from Say. This is their Glossy Bounce. Oh yeah, that's a nice pairing. All right, well, I am ready for my little impromptu night out. Uh, I think that's it for this vlog. I think this has been fairly long-winded, so I'm gonna cut it here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.